Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I think we'll take a little bit look at the data today. Uh, so right now in Ohio, we have 16,769 cases. So that is up by about 444 um, that we've learned about since yesterday. Um, and, uh, and our um, deaths are now at 799. That increased 46 that we've learned about since yesterday. What is um, notable here is we are now at 88 counties. We have uh, three cases in the last county, which is Vinton County. So we are now seeing cases. Next slide. Um, thanks, Eric. Um, in all counties. Uh, we still have that age range, uh, less than 1 to 106. And we are continuing to skew slightly more male than female. Um, we do know that 6% of all of our cases have required um, ICU admission. And 16% of our cases are healthcare workers. Again, this is who we're testing at this point, um, people who are more sick. So uh, next slide. And so our trends um, over five days, again, we're still very, very level overall. Um, we, we definitely like to look at trends over time. Um, and we see our cases are really about flat overall, um, a little bit up just with the deaths that were reported. Um, and we know, again, we shouldn't always be surprised by some changes. We know, Governor, that um, being sick follows getting infected and deaths are following. So um, I wouldn't be surprised to see that. Hospitalizations um, uh, slightly up over the five-day average at 108. Um, and then ICU admissions, um, 26. So those are our numbers today. I do want to note that um, some of the symptoms that the CDC has changed in their definition of symptoms. They've added to the usual things that we had all been looking for in COVID were cough, um, fever, shortness of breath. But we're now seeing um, new symptoms being listed. So there are a lot of folks who get COVID that don't actually have a fever or maybe have a fever much later in the onset of their illness. Um, chills and shaking, even without a uh, fever, has been a symptom. Um, muscle pain, headache, sore throat, and you've probably been hearing about the loss of taste and smell. So those actual symptoms have now um, been added to, to the list of symptoms by the CDC. I do want to highlight the at-risk groups that the governor mentioned, um, heart conditions, lung conditions, hypertension, uh, diabetes, liver and kidney disease. Um, if you've had any kind of immunocompromised or you're on cancer treatment, that can be a risk. Obesity is a risk. Um, and that puts over half of Ohioans might have at least one of those, those risks. 